Hi everybody, this is a video of the Philips 250 watt high pressure mercury vapor light bulb. As you can see here, uh, this is the bulb I bought from the shop a couple of weeks ago and it's a Philips mercury vapor bulb and it says HPL, it stands for high pressure lamp It's one, and it's a mercury one and it's got the Edison 40 screw cap and as you, as you can see here, this is the fitting kit for it. It's got the ballast, igniter and control gear. I've had it done up at University of Sheffield, been taking a couple of weeks and on here it says danger and there's the power button switch for it and it's connected into the socket and it'll be ready to be fitted in in one second or two but we're just going to get the bulb out of its carton but the, the carton had to be ripped open because the guy who did this at university couldn't get to the bulb itself but just got to get it out of its carton I know it's in loads of pieces but anyway guys I'll just show you one second let's just put it on the breakfast tea table so as you can see guys so anyway here I have the 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 mercury vapor light bulb the 250 watt one and it says on it's printed here it says Philips and it says HPLN 250 watt made in Belgium and it's labeled Philips I always like Philips ones because I have a because they're my good taste these ones so and as you can see it's got this Edison 40 screw cap and it's stainless steel and it's colored white and it's got the proper mercury art tube and it's got the ballast separate so <clears throat> as you can see it's got this little dint hole in the middle of it and this is the very first high pressure mercury bulb to do on YouTube so anyway guys I'm going to uh, fit it into the socket now so Oh, let's make sure I fit it down now. It takes its time because it's a bigger screw cap. I think 250 is the best wattage ever. So let's make sure it mustn't over tighten it. So anyway, guys, uh, it's on. It's uh, fitted in now. It's fitted in like so. So anyway, guys, uh, the big light's going out now. So that's it now. The, onto the high pressure mercury light bulb, everybody. Okay, everybody. <coughs> Sorry about that. So anyway, ready everybody? Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow! As you can see, it's shining like a, a, mel a reddish pink glow. Yeah, and it's making a right loud humming noise. It's got this red neon light and it's shining very, very hot pink. It's like girl's colour. Wow! And as you can see, let's take a good glimpse into it before it gets to its full brightness. As you can see, it's like a very lilac colour on camera. For my eyes, it's going a very pink. It's going like a very beigey glow. But this one doesn't have a filament. But the other ones that I did were self ballasted But this one isn't. So, and as you can hear, you can hear that humming noise. And it's got warning signs. They always warn me to do all this, uh, follow all the safety rules, which I'm doing. So, as you can see now, it's starting to change uh, colours. It looks like it's starting to get to its full brightness. I think this one might... Uh, brighten well get to its full brightness I remember back at my old primary school in the dining hall they all had a uh, mercury vapor lamps and I suggest they all had about about 250 or 400 watts but they were quite powerfully bright though even though they got to full brightness but they used to come on like a very reddish pink like this one does and this one's a like an egg shaped like Venus let's take a good look into it shall we as you can see it's looking a bit of a minty color it looks like lots of colors the, the art gas, the mercury art tube, which I call Freddie Mercury art tube, shines like a very greenish uh, blue colour inside the bulb. So, see all the lots of 3D colours. And as you can see on here, it says danger, disconnect the main supply before removing this cover. And it's like stainless steel. So, it's got this red neon light. I was expecting to use that white uh, wire, but they decided to give me this um, black wire. And it's got this plug on thing, so it's got loads of screws. And as you can see, does it say anything on its carton? Let's have a look. I don't think it does. No, does it? Uh, I don't think it does. Philips HPLN 250 watt made in Belgium. Uh, and that's what, that's what it says. It says read the instructions, but I read it all in, in different languages. Read instructions for use are packed. Uh, in the outer carton so anyway guys well anyway as you can see now looks like the the mercury art well the mercury vapor bulbs are reaching its full brightness it does make that humming noise though but as you can see 
that is shining more mercury vapor like what the self ballasted mercury vapor bulbs did that i did in other videos on youtube so as i look all around i know i've got all my christmas trimmings up it's looking more christmassy and it shines like very like a yogurty glow that's what i love about the high pressure mercury vapor lamp but this one is proper mercury because it doesn't have a filament because it's got the ballast separate it's got igniter ballast and control gear well as you call capacitor so <laughs> <clears throat> anyway guys I'm going to take another good glimpse into the bulb and as you can see it's uh, reached its uh, full brightness and this is like a very mint green colour as you can see and the, that mercury arc tube is looking very well it's reached its it's got uh, you see the thick gas on it so let's take another good look into it this way yep as you can see you see that little dint hole it's using to hold the, the power station in place like I said in other films of bulbs like this and that's the very first time I've done a, a non ballasted mercury bulb on YouTube. This is the very first one ever. But the others I did were all self ballasted. They come on like normal incandescent light bulbs. They had a filament inside. And as you can see, it looks like it still looks like Jupiter or Uranus. Yeah. And as you can see, it's still, well, it tends to quieten down that humming noise. But that's the ballast that makes the humming noise. But as you can see now, it's reached its full brightness and it's reflecting all my fruit apples and pears bananas and oranges bananas in pajamas as i say i am surprised that that carton is very blue and it's quite cylinder it's quite collided i bought it from that shop on the wicker a couple of weeks ago to to do this uh, lamp for youtubing and as you can see now it's lit all around my room and everything so and let's take a good look glimpse it before i switch it out and as you can see it's reached its Full brightness at 250 watts. Yeah. And it's and it has now reached its full brightness and everything. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, turn off this, uh, this lamp now. So, as you can see now, the, the mercury arc tube fades away a bit more quickly. Quicker than the uh, high-pressure sodium lamp. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, turn this big light back on. Right, that's it now. Uh, the big light's back on now, so... Uh, so anyway guys, I thought I'd do a video of the Philips 250 watt high pressure mercury vapor lamp everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you for watching everybody.